my dear students good morning everybody i think all of you are well i am also well in my previous class i took a class for the students of class 11 and 12 english past paper topic unit 6 lesson 2 and i so far as i can remember that i finished the first half of the second lesson today i want to finish the lesson and for this season i request all of you to stay with me till the end of the class and from the chapter we will be able to learn addressing some some related problems in bangladesh in my previous class i told you that what type of problems usually an an adolescent boy or girl face in our country and how can we solve this problems so i request all of you to open your book and to follow the lessons and it will be very helpful for you to understand the text and the chapter or this lesson is particularly important for fill in the gaps so you must read this text or unit very minutely so that you can solve any problem or if you given any questions on this topic from the chapter and if you read the text very carefully and attentively then you will be able to solve any questions okay now i am going to read out the text and you will be mindful from the very beginning of my lecture and you will follow what i am going to read out para 3 stanza 3 unit 6 lesson 2 stanza 3 In Bangladesh the legal age of marriage is 18 for girls and 21 for boys and if i ask you a question what is the legal age of marriage for boys and girls respect respectively then you will simply tell me that the legal age of marriage for girls is 18 and for boys is 21 this is the standard or or this is the standard is for arranging marriage between boys and girls okay how far 33% of adults and girls are married before the age of 15 though the legal age minimum age for marriage for girls is 18 years 18 years 18 but almost 33% of adults and girls of a country are married of before the age 15 and this is very pathetic as their married of before their maturity they have to or the adolescent girls or adolescents mothers of a country have to face a lot of problems so early marriage is very bad for or it also brings health risks for adolescent 
girls or adolescents mothers and 60 percent become mothers by the age of 19 and the girls or the teenager girls who are married before 15 almost 60 percent among them among the married girls become mothers before they reach 19 and this is very dangerous for their health. So, we must say no to early marriage, we must say no to early marriage. Research finds that the adolescents with higher level of education and from more affluent families um, tend to marry at a later age. Research finds that adolescents with higher level of education and from more affluent families, the adolescents who belong to rich family and at the same time have higher education they tend to marry at later age. This is usually practiced in our country, but the percentage or the number of such type of adolescent boys and girls or people are very few in our country, because almost all the almost or majority of the boys and girls, uh, adolescent boys and girls do not have proper education or graduation at the same time they belong to middle class family or lower or poor family that is why they become victim of early marriage before 15 particularly the adolescent girls become victim of early marriage before they reach 15. Why? If we consider the educational background and socio-economic conditions of the adolescent girls of our country, they fall or they become victim of early marriage. Boys, however, become ready for marriage only after several years of adolescence and young adulthood. But this scenario is completely different in case of the boys because they tend to marry later or later age or after several years of adolescence and young adulthood. When a girl is married, she usually drops out of school and begins full time work in her in losses household. This is usually seen in our country, the girl who are married of at early age, she usually, she is usually burdened with or she is usually burdened with a lot of works of her family. She has to perform a lot of household chores at or at her in losses house. In the in losses house, she is marginalized, she is marginalized, she has to face a lot of pressures from different angles. Though she is very little, she is not yet matured, but she has to face a lot of problems and that is why she is marginalized where at her in losses house. She becomes vulnerable to all forms of abuse including dowry related violence. And among the fishers, among the tortures that she has to face, dowry related violence is common to all. After marriage, she has to, an adolescent girl's, adolescent girl has to face a lot of torture in her in law's house for dowry. Because the family members of her in laws house demand dowry after the marriage ceremony 
happens after the end of the marriage ceremony. It continues. The demands of dowry continues at her in laws house. This is usually practiced in our country and at the same time we must be careful about dowry and we must say or we have to say no to dowry at the same time we must we must create social awareness against dowry related problems because dowry is a bad practice and we have to we have to eradicate dowry from our society we have to uproot dowry from our society and that's why you can play an important role you can play you are the bright future of our country so you can change the society you have the responsibility to make people aware of against dowry related problems at the same time you say no to dowry okay in Bangladesh it is common for brides family to pay dowry usually almost 95 percent brides family pay dowry to the bridegroom bridegroom's family in Bangla despite the practice being illegal though all of we know that dowry each and illegal practice illegal practice dowry demands can also continue after the wedding already i have mentioned it you know that dowry is not ended dowry related problems or dowry demand is not end just after the marriage ceremony rather it also continues after the end of the marriage ceremony that means a uh, an adolescent uh, bride or adolescent girl has to face a lot of problems or pressures or torture both physical and mental in her in losses house because of dowry. For, for an adolescent bride even if in, lo in losses are supportive there are greater health risks in terms of pregnancy and childbirth. Sometimes, if an adolescent girl is welcomed very cordially in her in laws house, then she also faces a lot of problems, particularly health problems, because she has to face the risk of pregnancy and childbirth because if you consider her age she is not yet perfect to give birth a child but what happens in our country actually almost 60 percent of the adolescent girls who are married before uh, 15 years they have to give birth child before 19 years and it creates a lot of health hazards health hazards so we must say neutrally marriage for ensuring their health safety health safety or for health ensuring their good health now, the majority of adolescent brides and their families are uninformed or insufficiently informed about reproductive health and contraceptions. Actually, the newly coupled, uh, coupled, the newly married coupled, married couple must have sufficient knowledge, has have must sufficient knowledge about what? About reproductive health and contraceptions these two terms are very important for every newly married couples but what happens in your country for social prejudice or social superstitions most of the newly married couples do not have sufficient knowledge about about 
reproductive health and contraceptions that's why they have to face a lot of problems after marriage the maternal mortality rate for adolescents is double the national rate maternal mortality rate for adolescents for whom for adolescents in double is double than the mortality rate than the national rate and from this sentence we can easily understand that the adolescent girls who are married of at an early age they have to even embrace death while giving birth to a child so this is very pathetic and we must say no to early marriage okay when adolescent girls are pulled out of school either for marriage or work they have to they have they may drop out from schools for two reasons either for marriage or work they often lose their mobility they lose their mobility their frames and social status they lose everything what things the most important things number one their mobility number two their friends number three social status i think for every human beings these three things are very important to be a fully grown up persons what are those things mobility number one mobility number two friends number three number uh, number three social status without these three important things no human being can expect to be grown up in a society but what happens in cage of a girl who is married of at an early age actually they lose their mobility they lose sorry they lose their mobility they lose their friends and social status and for this reasons they cannot be grown up as a complete human being so we must say no to early marriage the lack of mobility among adolescent girls also curtails their economic and non formal educational opportunities what happens if they lose their mobility actually it also curtails their economic and non formal educational opportunities what does it curtail it curtails their economic two terms are here economic and non non formal educational opportunities why because of their lack of mobility moreover the lack information about health issues at the same times the lack information about what about health issues actually to lead and have the life every human being must have sufficient knowledge over health issues otherwise we cannot expect to lead a healthy and happy life but what happens about health issues to most of the people of our country particularly for the adolescent boys and girls they lack information about what about health issues this is very pathetic and that's why they face a lot of health problems according to a study only about 3 in 5 adolescents have even heard of hiv you know that hiv is a dangerous disease caused by a virus but 
almost um, almost half of the total population do not have sufficient knowledge about this virus about this disease and this is very pathetic for us it also creates a lot of problems within us and it is also reported that more than 50 percent of adolescent girls are undernourished and suffer from anemia actually almost i think more than 50 percent adolescent boys and girls particularly who belong to or who are in blazes or rustic area or remote area they suffer from undernourished that's undernourished and suffer from anemia adolescence fertility is also high in bangladesh the contribution of the adolescence fertility rate to the total fertility rate increased from 20.3 percent in 1993 to 24.4 percent in 2007. More, moreover, neonatal mortality is another concern for young mothers. And from this, from this para, we have come to know about a lot of problems that usually an adolescent mother faces in our country in our country while the situation for adolescent boys is somewhat better may are vulnerable and lack the power to make decision about their own lives though the condition or the situation for whom for adolescent boys where in our country is somewhat better than the adolescent girls, but many are vulnerable and lack the power to make decisions. They cannot take the decisions themselves and that is why they become vulnerable to lot of problems or challenges. Many boys who are unable to go to school or unemployed remain aware of social health issues actually who have not the opportunity who have who have no opportunity of going to a school they usually are our unaware of they are usually unaware of social and health issues they are at considerable risk of being drawn into criminal activities because of having an opportunity to go to school, they are being at the risk of involved into different type of criminal activities. Actually, the young generation, particularly the young boys of our country are found who are addicted to gambling, who are addicted to different types of taking drugs and this is also very pathetic for our nations because if the, if the majority young boys are addicted to drugs then we cannot expect some better future from them though they are considered the better the, they are considered the future leader of our country so we have to give priority on proper nourishment of these boys and girls so that they can form the character in a good way so 
they are they are also more likely to get exposed to drugs and alcohols so already i have mentioned this if they do not have sufficient knowledge of of reproductive health health issues and they do not have the opportunity sufficient opportunity not opportunity but sufficient opportunity of receiving education they may be addicted to drugs and alcohols and it is not good for the nation whether they will lead the nation to destruction so we must say no to early marriage we must say no to drugs and we should take we should give proper attention to form the character and i think you will say no to drugs you will at the same time you will say no to early marriage then we will be able to have a better nation in future today i like to stop here and in in my next class i will take another class on lesson 3 why does a child hate school if you have time then try to read the text so i like to thank you again